So much has changed in healthcare, but the roots of this hospital and what it's meant to this community have endured 60 years. If you go back to 1963, it was a community that made it happen. It was a community that came together, understood that there was a need. My mother became involved with the hospital uh, back in early 1962, so she volunteered for over 50 years, um, up until a year before she passed away. The whole association started as a grassroots movement where some pretty incredible people decided that Richmond Hill needed a hospital. And they got to work and, and really made it happen. They planned, they did things, the usual things like bake sales and garage sales and you know plant sales. But they also did some pretty amazing events like bridge luncheons and fashion shows and theater nights. From the very beginning, um, there was this sense of family. The journey continues. Uh, you know, in 1976, this hospital uh, was the first to actually embrace digital technology and actually had the first computerization of any hospital in a significant way. And then we continued, you know, on that cadence of being the first and pushing the envelope. We became the first fully digitized hospital in the country. When I started here in 1987, you're going to laugh, but we had people smoking at the nurses' station. We had patients smoking in their beds. Well, as our programs grew, uh, luckily we had a lot of opportunity, educational opportunity, to improve ourselves, uh, to gain experience. Senior leadership always wanted to make sure that innovation was a priority. I trained in Edmonton. And then uh, when I came to Toronto, uh, the question was whether you go academic or you go community. And the comments were that the things were going to happen in the community, and that's where the action was going to be for the future. In 1995, the Ministry awarded us the Regional Dialysis Program, and which we opened in 1996. You know, 23 years ago, uh, roughly, um, my son was born here. And I have obviously vivid memories of that uh, with my wife, you know, having that, that great event in our life. It's looked after my whole family over the years, including me when I lost my right kidney to cancer 37 years ago. When I started at Mackenzie Health, I was a university student with two other jobs. I uh, got a job here as a casual student doing data backup for the IT department. I've also been a patient here, uh, had my son here 12 years ago at McKenzie Health. Most recently, in 2017, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I can't be more thankful, and I, I always say that McKenzie Health saved my life. It was really obvious to me that if there was one organization, really everybody in the community was going to have some sort of contact with, at some time or other, it was the hospital. I just felt it was always really important to donate to the hospital to keep uh, the organization strong. Um, if the hospital was strong, then we would have a healthy community. We have strong volunteers that had the passion and the vision and really the strategic uh, sense to say, hey, we, we need more healthcare. We need a second hospital. We need to you know, actually focus on building another site in Vaughan. And we need to do it in a way that is actually integrated. We're not gonna lose again the roots of what created this amazing hospital way back when, New York Central Hospital, which was the roots of family, the roots of home, the roots of caring for one another, and the roots of always being small even though you become much larger. As the mayor especially, I, I'm more aware than I have ever been on the importance of a hospital in our community. And um, you know, it is, it is there for our citizens like it's been there for me and my family uh, whenever the, the need is there. Everybody's always been so caring and welcoming that for me it's never been a frightening experience. It's like coming home. My husband tells me it's my second home. <laughs> Feels like home. Um, I've been here for 31 years and the sense of pride, the people that work here and the contributions they made, the teamwork, uh, the collegiality, um, that's what makes me, it gives me a sense of joy. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about this and I, I said, oh, after all my years here, I've never once 
thought, I'm not proud to be an a employee here. Like, it's a good feeling to say, I work at Mackenzie Health, and I'm very proud of it. I think our community should be proud of what um, we have established in the past 60 years. You don't remember the building, you don't remember the equipment, but you remember that nurse, you remember that physician, you remember that physio, you remember that dietary aid. It is about the people. And this celebration of 60 years is really about all the people that have made this possible, that have gotten us to this point, and that will get us beyond into the future.